This is the LMSYS chatbot arena. You can do blind comparisons of large language models on the same prompt, and then you vote which one, if any, was the best. And they've got a leaderboard computed on hundreds of thousands of responses by people. Uh, and they use the ELO algorithm, which is also used for chess rankings. And it's an algorithm that is very good for comparing things directly against each other. And so if a really good model beats a really poor one, then it doesn't really make much difference. But if a, a weaker one beats a stronger one, then it's gonna get a bigger boost in the rankings. And you can see at the top, a lot of the GPT-4 models are in there. Regulars to the channel will know that I'm a big fan of Alama, which is like Docker, but for LLMs. It lets you run a variety of LLMs on your own machine, and new models are added every week, if not every day. And I like comparing them against each other, so I thought I'd make a chatbot arena, but for a llama. So I've put it in this repository here, so mnedem forward slash chatbot hyphen arena. I'll put that link in the description below. Let's have a look at how we would go about using it. So the first thing is we need to make sure we're using this experimental environment variable that Alama added a few weeks ago. So it's Alama underscore max underscore loaded underscore models and set that to a value. So I'm gonna say four. And this allows you to load and then use multiple models at the same time. Of course, it's gonna be restricted by how much memory you've got on your machine. So keep that in mind. And then we'll launch Alama. Now you'll need to clone the repository to your machine. So you can see that I've already done that. So I'm gonna run the Streamlit application and then I'm gonna to navigate to localhost 8501 in my browser. And you can see it comes up here with the chatbot arena. So this is a multi-page Streamlit application. If you've not used Streamlit, this is an application where you can write in Python and it builds you interactive web applications. And you can see there are three parts to this application. So we've got to select the models, we've then got the arena, and we've got our leaderboard. So let's first go over to the select models page. And you can see it's got a list of all the models, the small models actually, so I've filtered it to ones which are less than I think 11 billion parameters on my machine. And so we can then choose which one of them we would like to use in this arena session. So I'll pick a few of them, different ones, and then we can head over to the chatbot arena. And let's ask it a question. And so it comes back with a response. And let's say this time we decide, I don't, there's not really much difference. We'll say both of them are the same. It will then pop up and say, well, that was Phi 3 latest versus Llama 3 latest. And you said they're both the same. We can then say, we're gonna do another one. Uh, and we'll ask it a different question. And this time the Model 2's answer seems a little bit better to me, so I'll click on that one, and it says, well, that was Gemma 2B versus Phi 3 latest, and you chose Phi 3 latest. Let's do one more, so Messi or Ronaldo. So this time they're not they're not really answering it, right? And that can be the, a problem with some of the LLMs is that they've been kind of fine-tuned to not really give an opinion. So it, it didn't give me an answer, so I can ask it a, 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 to, to kind of, come on, if you had to pick, who would, who would you go for? And this time, the, the first one does give an answer and the second one is still being reluctant. So I'm gonna pick the first one and it says, well, that was Llama 3 latest versus Open Hermes V 2.5. So hopefully you can kind of see that although in this video we're comparing models against each other, the app could easily be adapted to compare maybe different rag techniques. We could look at different chunking, re-ranking, perhaps met using metadata and just compare those, but with the same model. And I'll tell you a little bit later how you can get a llama to run the same model multiple times. But coming back to model comparison, the app logs all of our votes in the logs voting log file. So let's have a look at that. So you can see we've got in here, it's got well, what was model one, what was model two, what choice did you make? And then it's got information about the timestamp as well. So I've used the library called struct log. Again, I'll, I'll link that in the description in case you want to look at that. At the moment, we aren't logging the message history, but that's certainly a change we might want to make to the code so that we can get a feel for well, which models are better at which types of questions. Finally, let's come over to the leaderboard tab. And so here we've got the models ranked and I'm not using the ELO algorithm, I'm using a different one, which is Microsoft's true skill algorithm, which is very similar, very similar in technique, but it also gives you, along with a rating, you get a certainty of the, of the score. And that generally is based on, well, how many comparisons have you done? And are you, are, are, is the model consistently winning against who it should win against and losing against who it should lose against? And I've done a video on the true skill algorithm. So again, I'll link that below. And you can kind of play around with this table and adjust the different, uh, the different columns. But more or less, you can see at the top of the table, we've got Mistral, we've got Llama 3, and uh, at the moment, Tiny Dolphin's up there. But I think if I did more comparisons, then it would fall down. And you can also see that I've done a whole load of other ones uh, in the background just to make this table look a bit more interesting. So play around with the app and let me know how we can make it better. And also check out this video here where we'll learn how to configure a Llama to let us run the same model in parallel.